Is it a star or a planet? Or is it just an illusion, a trick of our minds? And here's the question that might keep you up at night. Did time have a beginning, and could it ever end? These aren't just philosophical musings. They're the kinds of questions that sit at the edge of modern science and push the boundaries of what we know about the universe. Let's dive into the mystery of time, a journey that takes us from the Big Bang to the outer edges of human understanding, a realm where the answers are as thrilling as they are elusive. Picture this, 13.8 billion years ago, the universe bursts into existence. A hot, dense point, smaller than an atom, explodes outward in an unimaginably powerful event, creating everything we know, space, matter, energy, and somehow, time itself. Cosmologists call this moment the Big Bang. But what they don't often tell you in school is that the Big Bang wasn't just the birth of stars, planets, and galaxies. It was also the moment that time itself appeared to switch on. Before that? Well, that's where things start to get strange and incredibly complex. Ask a physicist what came before the Big Bang, and most will shrug and say, we don't know. It's not just that we lack the data to make a guess. It's that the word before might not even make sense in this context. If time truly began with the Big Bang, then there was no before in any meaningful sense, because there was no time for anything to happen in. Wrap your head around that one. It's like trying to imagine the edge of infinity or what lies beyond the bounds of reality itself. These aren't just challenging concepts, they fundamentally defy how our brains are wired to think. But let's not get lost in the void just yet. Instead, Let's bring the conversation back to what time is in our universe today. You might think of time as a straight line, marching forward second by second, guiding us through our daily routines. Breakfast, work, dinner, sleep, repeat. A constant, unyielding progression. But science, especially the science ushered in by Albert Einstein, tells us that time is far stranger than we ever imagined. Thanks to Einstein's theory of relativity, we now know that time is not an isolated force, it is woven into the very fabric of the cosmos, forming what physicists call space-time. Space-time isn't rigid. It bends and stretches depending on mass, gravity, and speed. Ever heard of time dilation? If you were to zoom through space at nearly the speed of light, time would slow down for you relative to someone lounging back on Earth. This isn't science fiction. It's a real, measurable phenomenon. You could return after what feels like a year and find your friends and family have aged decades. It has even been tested. Atomic clocks placed on fast-moving airplanes tick ever so slightly slower than identical clocks left on the ground. Time, it turns out, is as flexible as a rubber band, able to warp in ways that challenge our everyday understanding. Now here's a question to really spark your curiosity. If time can bend, can it break? Could time stop? Or even run backward? To explore this, let's journey back to the early universe, specifically, the first fractions of a second after the Big Bang. During that time, the universe was a searing, chaotic soup of particles, hotter than a trillion suns. As it expanded, it cooled, and time, as we experience it, appeared to march forward. Or so we think. But some physicists question whether time always flows the same way, everywhere and forever. Enter the concept of the arrow of time. This idea suggests that time moves forward because of entropy, the universe's tendency to transition from order to chaos. Think of a glass shattering on the floor. It breaks into a thousand pieces, but those shards never spontaneously jump back together into a perfect glass. That's entropy at work, and it's what gives time its direction. But what if, in some distant future, the universe reaches maximum entropy, total disorder? Could time lose its arrow at that point? Could it stall, stop, or even reverse direction? It's a mind-bending possibility one that forces us to reconsider the nature of reality itself. But let's push further. What if time isn't even the same in all parts of the universe? Consider the heart of a black hole, where gravity is so intense that not even light can escape. Time here is warped beyond recognition. If you were to fall toward a black hole, don't worry, you won't, but imagine it for a moment. As you approach the event horizon, the point of no return, time would slow down for you relative to an outside observer. To someone watching from far away, you would appear to freeze in place, suspended forever. But to you, time would feel normal, until, of course, things get messy. Inside the black hole, at the singularity, our current understanding of time breaks down completely. Some physicists believe time might cease to exist altogether in this region, or perhaps transform into something we cannot yet comprehend. Black holes, in this sense, are like cosmic dead ends, 
challenging not only our understanding of matter and space, but also of time itself. They raise questions about what time is, how it behaves, and whether it can be trusted to always move in one direction. But what about the broader picture? Could time end not just for an individual falling into a black hole, but for the entire universe? To answer that, we need to peer into the far future. Scientists have mapped out a few possible fates for our cosmos, and each comes with its own implications for time. One possibility is the Big Freeze. As the universe continues expanding, driven by a mysterious force called dark energy, galaxies drift farther and farther apart. Stars burn out, and everything cools to near absolute zero. In this cold, dark void, there may be no energy left to drive change. If nothing changes, does time still mean anything? Some physicists argue that in such a lifeless cosmos, time would become irrelevant, like a clock ticking in an empty room with no one there to hear it. It's a haunting thought, a universe where time still exists but has no purpose, no events, no motion, no meaning. Then there's the big crunch, a less likely but more dramatic alternative. If the universe's expansion slows down and reverses, everything could eventually collapse back into a single, dense point, a mirror of the Big Bang. Time as we know it might come to an end in this fiery implosion. But here's where things get truly wild. Some theorists suggest that a big crunch could actually trigger a new Big Bang, effectively restarting time in a brand new universe. In this view, time isn't linear, it's cyclical. Birth, expansion, collapse, repeat. Over and over in an endless cosmic loop. It's the kind of idea that makes you wonder whether our universe is just one chapter in an infinite story, one cycle among countless others. And speaking of countless possibilities, what if time isn't even a singular phenomenon? What if our universe is merely one part of a vastly larger reality, one where time behaves in all sorts of bizarre and unfamiliar ways? This brings us to the concept of the multiverse. It's a bold, mind-expanding idea, but one taken seriously by many physicists. Picture our universe as a single bubble in an endless cosmic foam, with each bubble representing another universe, each one potentially governed by its own laws of physics and its own version of time. In some of these universes, time might flow backward. In others, it might loop, or branch off like a river splitting into tributaries. The multiverse theory arises from inflation, the idea that in the first moments after the Big Bang, the universe expanded faster than the speed of light. Some scientists, like Alan Guth, suggest that inflation might never have stopped in some regions, continuously spawning new universes. If that's true, then time as we know it, our version of seconds, minutes, hours, is just one flavor in an infinite cosmic menu. Can you imagine a universe where time doesn't exist at all? It's a thought that stretches the limits of human imagination to the breaking point. Now let's bring things back to Earth for a moment, to something more tangible. In 2023, astronomers noticed something odd. The universe's expansion appears to be accelerating faster than expected. This discrepancy, known as the Hubble tension, suggests that our current models of time and space might be incomplete, or even wrong. Could dark energy, the mysterious force driving this acceleration, hold clues to the nature of time itself? Some researchers speculate that dark energy might evolve over time, changing how the universe expands, and thus, how time behaves on cosmic scales. If dark energy grows stronger, it could eventually rip the universe apart in what's called the Big Rip, shredding galaxies, stars, and even atoms. In that terrifying scenario, time wouldn't end with a whimper, it would end with a bang, as space-time itself unravels into nothingness. It's a chilling prospect, but don't panic. If it happens at all, it's billions of years away. Now let's shift to a more philosophical perspective. Why does time feel so personal to us? We measure our lives in moments, birthdays, first loves, achievements, losses. Yet science tells us that time is universal, indifferent, unfeeling. But there's a fascinating theory that suggests time might actually be tied to consciousness. Some physicists, like Carlo Rovelli, argue that time emerges from how we perceive change. Without observers, without conscious minds, does time even exist? It's a question that bridges science and philosophy, forcing us to consider whether time is as much in our minds as it is in the stars. Imagine a universe with no one to experience it. Would time still tick away in the silence? Or does it only exist when there's someone there to notice its passing? And finally, let's explore one last frontier, perhaps the most exciting one of all. Time travel. Everyone loves the idea of jumping into the past or rocketing into the future. 
But is it possible? Einstein's relativity opens the door, at least a crack. Traveling near the speed of light, or passing through a wormhole, a theoretical tunnel through space-time, could allow you to skip forward in time. Going backward is trickier. It would require exotic forms of matter and energy that we don't yet fully understand. But here's the kicker, even if time travel were possible, it might be governed by rules we can't break. Paradoxes like the infamous grandfather paradox, what happens if you go back and stop your own birth, suggest that time may defend itself from contradiction. Still, the fact that physics doesn't outright forbid time travel is enough to keep the dream alive. Who wouldn't want to glimpse the year 3000, or stand quietly among the dinosaurs? So, where does this leave us? Time is both familiar and alien. It's the thread that ties the Big Bang to the distant future, yet it's slippery enough to defy our complete understanding. It bends near black holes, stretches with the expansion of the universe, and might even splinter across multiple universes. Whether time had a clear beginning or faces a definite end depends entirely on which cosmic path our universe takes. Freeze, crunch, rip, or something else entirely. What's certain is that time shapes everything, from the stars above to the thoughts running through your mind right now. So here's the final question, one to truly spark your imagination. If you could unravel one mystery about time, its origin, its end, or its true nature, what would you choose? Think about it, because your answer might reveal as much about you as it does about the universe. Stay curious, and keep chasing the secrets of time, because this journey is far from over. So, where does that leave us? In a world where clocks tick with metronomic precision and yet the very nature of time remains a riddle tangled in quantum uncertainties, gravitational warps, and cosmic expansion. It leaves us staring into the night sky, wondering not only what's out there, but when. Could there be civilizations far beyond our reach that experience time differently?